Hello and welcome to more Nerdy Rodents Geekery. Today we're taking a look at the new Quen Image Edit 2509, which now has multi-image support. What does that mean for you? Well, I have a quick summary on this note here. Now that we've got support for multiple images, it means you can use those extra images for all sorts of things. Perhaps you'd like two different characters in a scene, or maybe an object or a background. Those are all things you can try, but on top of that, you can also use a control image, meaning you can have your character or characters in specific poses, or maybe a depth map if you're a real control freak. This workflow is based off the Comfy UI native template provided, which you can get for free from that Browse Templates menu. Here it is in just one click. You go to Images, and all the way over here, you've got Quen Image Edit 2509. Just click that, and you're away. Alternatively, you can support the channel via Patreon and get these modified versions. Your support helps me make even more workflows for you and to share these videos with everyone. Totally your choice, but a massive thanks goes out to all supporters because you all rock. Those familiar with the channel will know I like to use the rodent method. This makes workflows all neat and tidy. That's much easier to follow. Plus, you have less of that spaghetti everywhere. So let's dive in and see what makes this thing tick, shall we? Taking a look at the loading section first, we've got the Quen Image Edit 2509 model and the Quen Image Lightning as well. We've also got these model sampling Aura Flow and a CFG Norm as well. You can play around with those. CFG Norm is probably best left at one, but you can change the shift a little bit for clip. We've got the Quen Vision 2.5 model and the Quen Image VAE there as well. As it's a multi-image workflow, all of the images look a bit like this. So here we've got the option for image one, I've got a little RG3 fast groups bypasser there as well. So as you can see, image one, image two, and image three. Image one, I've also got a pre-processor here, which I've set to none because, well, we don't want to change this first image. Of course, you can, and we'll take a look at that in just a moment. Like it says in the notes down here, the Quen Image Edit Plus prompt node, which we'll see in just a second, will scale that input to 1024 by 1024 pixels. So the actual image you've got there is going to be a bit smaller, but this size here is going to be the size of your output image. I've tested all sorts of different sizes and it looks to be okay up to around 2048 by 2048. If you go any larger than that, you start to get the repeats like we saw in the old Stable Diffusion 1.5 days. Just to start with then the other images, option two and option three, I've got bypassed for the moment. So we won't be using those, but we will in just a tick. As mentioned, we've got this new text encode Quen Image Edit Plus node. As usual, it takes clip, but now we've also got the VAE and those three images as well. The negative prompt is just the same, but of course we're using a CFG of one, so that doesn't really matter too much here. And the text prompt here I've got is replace the person with a rodent. And there you can see it's done an amazing job, I think, of replacing the person with a rodent. Look at that. It's even sort of kept the style and everything as well. And all of that in just four steps. There's a little note down here. The official method uses 50 steps and CFG4. But of course, we're using the lightning Laura here. So we can do it in four steps, CFG1, and you're done in just a few seconds. However, there is a tiny issue with using the four-step lightning LoRa they suggest, and I'll show you that here. So if we go across in this comparison node, then it does look very good, but as you can see, the colors get very, very bright. And also on this plant, if we go over there, you see the stems lose a little bit of detail. So the colors ever so slightly different to what they were in the original. What can we do about that? Well, we can use the Quen Image Lightning 4-step version 2 LoRa instead. Don't worry, there's a link in the notes there to get the version 2. And this time, if we have a look at the comparison as we go across, oh yes, that's much better, isn't it? Much better. As you can see, the colors are, well, a lot closer to those of the original. 
Now, the keen-eyed amongst you might have also noticed a different LoRa in there as well, the Quen Image Lightning 8-step version 2. Uh, so this one is interesting. And of course, over in the sampler, I've changed it from 4 steps up to 8 steps. And the result in this case is pretty lull. So the colours are still quite good, but we've got the body of the person. It's just changed the face into a rodent and it's got the rosy cheeks of the original as well. So interesting choice there on the eight steps. It's different. Give it a go and see which one you prefer yourself. OK, let's do some more advanced stuff. So this time I've enabled the second image and this is the first image I've got going in once again. I'm not pre-processing that, so we've got that as the person's face. And for image option two, I've got the person there relaxing on some rocks. I've selected the open pose pre-processor out of all the various pre-processors there. We have a zoom in there, so we've got the pose image. That's going to help control our generation. For the prompt this time, I've got the person is relaxing on a beach during winter. A sun lamp is providing warmth. The glow gently tanning her jumper clad body. The result then is this image. So it's followed the style of the input face and there she is. That's pretty good. And it's followed the pose. It's put her on this relaxing thing and the sun lamp there giving her the tan in the snow. Excellent stuff. How about we go all the way up to using three images this time? So option one, I've got the same person as before. In option two, I've got this pose. So that's quite a different and interesting one. And for image option three, I've got this cool rodent holding a love heart standing next to his painting. The prompt, of course, I've changed to match those images and what I want. So I've got the person is posing on a beach during summer. They are wearing full plate armor and holding a snowball behind her. A rodent holding a love heart is posing next to his painting of a skyscraper. The overall style is like an anime illustration with amazing colors. Now, this time I've had to specify the anime illustration because the rodent is more of a photographic style so it will switch styles if you've got different images with different styles in there which may indeed be what you want you might want to mix and match styles but in this case i want it like the original anime the generation in this case i think is really good so we've got the same sort of sky on the painting as there which is okay i guess my rodent's been painting it like that Similar skyscraper, so it has looked at that painting and gone, yeah, you know, we'll do a skyscraper like that. It's got the pose of the person. She's wearing full plate armor, snowball, rodent holding a heart. Yeah, I think Quen really crushed it there. All right, then let's try with a different set of three images and see what we can do. So I've got a new person in there as image option one. For image option two, this time I'm using a depth map. So we've got a person there, with their hands behind the head. And for image option three, I've got a background. So again, no pre-processing on that one. A super simple prompt. She is posing wearing the same outfit. Her face remains unchanged and loyal to the original. So I'm not even mentioning the background at all. And the result in this case is pretty good. So we're using the depth map. So her hair will change a little bit because it's following the depth map. But the background image is there. She's got a very similar necklace. Yeah, I think once again, Quen has crushed it. So there you go. Loads of powers with this new Quen Image Edit 2509. And apparently they may be doing these Quen updates monthly. So hopefully we'll see some more stuff in the future. Do like and subscribe for more. Ooh, nerdy rodent. He really makes my day. Showing us AI in a really British way.